there's a history of the President of the United States visiting Prince George's County Public Schools, going all the way back to the Lyndon Johnson administration and stretching all the way through to George W. Bush, with many in between. Another chapter was written in presidential visits to PGCPS with the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama's appearance at Buck Lodge Middle School. This was an opportunity for us to showcase what excellence really looks like and what education looks like in Prince George's County Public Schools. I want to thank Principal Richardson uh, for the great job that he's doing. And I want to thank all the wonderful teachers who are here at Buck Lodge Middle School. Go Vikings! President Obama did more than just stand at a podium and give a speech. He toured the school, stopping in to visit with Ms. Stover's seventh grade math class. Even though she didn't believe the commander in chief would actually walk through her classroom door. I couldn't believe it. I thought, okay, this is a joke. It's April Fools. This is just not April. And even up to that very minute, I was still saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe he's going to come any moment through this door. President Obama's visit to Buck Lodge coincided with Black History Month as the first ever African American president. Mr. Obama's first visit to a PGCPS school carries more meaning to the educators than their students. They don't understand the magnitude right now. It's probably like, oh my gosh, it is the president. But they don't understand the type of history. They don't understand the announcements and the, the, the commitment that the president has to not only technology, but education and their education. Because a lot of this was about what? Our low poverty kids. And so that's what this was about as well. So with that, that is amazing. My parents grew up in the South, segregated communities in North Carolina. So to see a black president in office and then for their daughter to meet him has been an experience that they've shared with their friends and family all throughout the United States. The younger generation may not understand the magnitude of what they got to be a part of, but they did realize they were up close and personal with someone special. It was awesome, like I never expected to meet him, never in my life. The students also came away with a much different view of the president than they originally imagined. At first thought he'd be like a serious guy, but actually he's a jokeful and funny guy. Kevin Aguilar even became the subject of a short film done by the president when he took control of the iPad that Kevin was using. I thought you already had it on record, Kevin. But we got to do that all over. This is Kevin. He looks very sharp in his tie. I heard them gasp. <laughs> it was that loud. I heard them say, oh, he has the iPad. And they didn't know he was going to get the iPad. And I didn't know he would really get the iPad and record us. So it was definitely an experience. I was happy that they chose me to be recording the president and be with him when I gave him the iPad. The impact of President Obama's visit to Buck Lodge will go on long after the students who were on hand have moved on to high school. Considering his background, and he's coming from a single parent household, and a lot of my students have single parent households, I'm definitely going to use that information to share with them that you, you know, can definitely succeed in life. And as for the iPad that President Obama recorded Kevin on, nobody has touched that iPad since. <laughs> for channels 96 and 38, I'm Grant Kittleson.